Why your emotions are very important. Your emotions play a very important role in how you think and act. We do not want you to get the impression that emotions are a bad thing because they are not. As you will learn in this video, emotions can drive you forward with your life. The problem is that emotions can make you do irrational things, and this is what you need to work on in your life. We will share with you proven methods to overcome this irrationality later in the training. A lot of your emotions are very temporary. Something can make you angry for a very short time. When you have mastered your emotions, then this will not make you do anything that you shouldn't. Other emotions can stay with you for a long time, such as the sadness and grief of losing someone that you love. Emotions can motivate you. Let's start on a positive note. You are anxious about an upcoming event in your life, such as a presentation or exam. This makes you feel terrible because of the fear of failure. The strong emotions that you feel in this situation can drive you to take action. Emotions can increase your level of motivation. If your life is not going in the direction that you want it to, you can experience strong emotions that result in you saying enough is enough. This spurs you into action to take control of your life and set challenging goals for the years ahead. Your emotions are likely to lead you down certain paths in your life. You will normally do more to avoid pain than to gain pleasure. The avoidance of pain will be a great relief to you, which in turn will make you happy, so you will be seeking pleasure through the avoidance of pain. Strong emotions can increase the likelihood that you will take action to avoid pain and gain pleasure. You will put in the necessary effort to study for an exam a few days before it so that you can avoid the pain of failing the exam, for example. Your emotions are powerful, and when you master them, you can use them for your benefit. This is what this training is all about. You cannot stop experiencing emotions, and it would be foolish to even attempt this. What you can do is harness the power of your emotions to make the right decisions in your life and to improve it. Emotions can paralyze you. This is the other side of the coin. Some people experience strong emotions when they think about something that they need to do in their life. Let's take the exam example. You have a final exam coming up in a couple of weeks, and you are very anxious about it. It makes you very sad thinking about this. Instead of facing your fear, you choose to run away from it. The fear of the exam is so strong that you may even decide that you will not turn up for it, let alone study for it. This is your emotion paralyzing you. Your emotions can ruin your social life if you let them. You are very attracted to someone, but you are paralyzed with fear when you think about approaching them and starting a conversation. In this situation, your emotions are preventing you from getting something that you want, which hurts. But the pain of rejection is so strong that you don't take any action. You cannot let your emotions paralyze you. This is easy to say, but not easy to do. By using the techniques in this training, you can reduce the paralyzing factor of your emotions so that you can get the things that you want in your life. Emotions and making decisions. Your emotions play a significant role in the decisions that you make every day. This can be either good or bad. On the good side of things, your emotions can force you to make a decision that you have been putting off. The more that you let your emotions drive you to make a decision, the better it can be for you. What you eat every day is often guided by your emotions. You have a strong desire within you to eat something that you like. Your emotions are telling you that you must eat this food because you will feel so good during the consumption and very satisfied afterward. You are angry at yourself because you have not made a decision. This anger forces you to weigh up the options and make the best decision. By mastering your emotions, you will use them to make better decisions in your life. If you don't take control of your emotions, then you can make irrational decisions that can cause you a lot of problems. Emotions can seriously cloud your judgment. We all have gut feelings about certain things, but this does not always make decisions based on this the right ones. Imagine speculating a lot of money on a gut feeling. Maybe you are investing in stocks and feel that the company is going in the right direction. These kinds of emotional decisions have resulted in people losing everything that they have in the past. They did not decide with a clear head and trusted their emotions to guide them. One of the first rules of investing is to never let your emotions dictate what you do. Trusting your emotions to make small decisions in your life is generally okay. For example, letting your emotions guide you to eat something for lunch is not a big deal. But relying on your emotions to make bigger decisions is never a good idea. Emotions will usually cloud your judgment. If things turn out well this way, it's usually down to luck. Have you ever made an irrational decision due to anger? Everyone has done this, so don't feel bad if you have. Anger is a powerful emotion that can lead people to make decisions that they will regret afterward. You do not want any angry emotions to force you to do things that you do not want to do. People have been killed or seriously injured through anger. Others have lost a lot of money or ended their relationships because of anger. 
It is not just anger that can force you to make irrational decisions. The other core emotions can all influence you to do this. We will discuss this in more detail in the next video. Emotions and your interactions with others. Usually, you cannot hide your emotions. Other people can tell how you are feeling from your nonverbal communication. Your body language will give you away every time. If you are angry and trying to stifle this, then the expression on your face or the tone of your voice will give you away. There's been a lot of research in this area, and the conclusion is that most people experience 2.5 times more positive emotions than they do negative emotions. This is a good thing, but it also means that you are going to experience negative emotions often. When you are interacting with others, they will usually be able to tell if you are experiencing positive or negative emotions. Emotions are important for you to understand how other people that you interact with are feeling. We are hardwired to look for these signs in others. This is very important as being able to interpret how others are feeling is critical for social communication. Reading the emotions of others helps you to respond in the right way to them. It will enable you to create better relationships and get the best results from social interactions. However, you need to be in control of your own emotions so that you can effectively interpret the emotions of others. In the next video, we will discuss factors that can affect your emotions.